guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we're doing a little bit of a different kind of video. So Monday I mentioned that I kind of wanted to do like a rating different Sims 4 packs kind of video because I hadn't done one before. I've talked about it in voiceover several times, but I've never actually sat down and tried to rate everything. So we're doing that today. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I might have a different take on this compared to other Sims that you've watched just because I am a builder. You guys know this, like builders are a different kind of species. We are special. Actually, we're not, we're not that special because there's a lot of us. We're not, there's a lot of us. But I mean in the way that if you're hooked on building, you most likely just build in The Sims. So I don't know much about gameplay because it's been a while since I've actually played the game. So it's been a while since I've had families and stuff in The Sims. I don't really touch create a sim that much anymore a little bit maybe but not very often i mainly stick to building so my opinion will of course be very colored by that fact so if you're a builder or you're just interested in building you really want to get better at building or something like that this video might help you this video might come in handy i don't know we might also just have a lot of fun with it i don't know maybe it'll be funny and helpful at the same time that would be great so i think we should get started i'm on this page that's called tear maker i've seen other people use this for the same thing i've seen people use this on twitter quite a lot as well but yeah here we are so we have five different tiers super duper amazing is the best one we have most definitely better than okay we have it is what it is meh and also heck no which is the worst one so before we get started i just want to point out that this is just my personal preference my personal opinion it's not colored by anything um I'm not paid to do this video. What else? I have no input from anyone else. And it's from a builder's perspective because I'm a newbie when it comes to gameplay and create a sim. So let's get started. So I think we should start out with the expansion packs, right? That makes more sense. Or at least I feel like it would make the, mo the most sense. I'm gonna have to think really hard on this because there's a lot of stuff from the different packs that I actually use. I just feel like some of them are maybe a little bit less useful than others, but now that I'm not in game, I'm, I'm having slight issues remembering which packs it is. <laughs> I think city living is definitely, is it super duper amazing or is it most definitely better than okay? I don't really know. I know that I use it a lot, but I also do a lot of different interiors and the stuff in city living is a little bit more eccentric maybe. Is that the right word to use? Exotic? <laughs> It's a little different from what I see in my day-to-day -day life. I think I would put it up here. This is gonna be difficult. Okay, get to work. I might put it there. No, I don't really know why. I think it's the counters. I don't think I've ever used the counters. Wait, it comes with counters, right? Yeah, it does, those gray ones. Get to work has a lot of good stuff for community lots, something that I don't build a lot of. This is fact, I just don't enjoy building community lots. Anyways, let's see. Seasons is definitely a super duper amazing. I love the style of the furniture. I love all the decor it comes with. And I just like that. Also the fact that it comes with four seasons, that's great, even though that's mostly gameplay it's still great get famous i think is more than okay it does have or maybe it is what it is actually i'm kind of torn with this one because you know how expansion packs usually come with two different styles of furniture so we have in this one we have the mid-century modern style and we also have whatever the other style is called i don't really know but i like to call it tacky <laughs> now i'm not much for the zebra printed furniture or the overly golden furniture it's not really for me i have not really used it for anything maybe like two houses but that's it but the mid-century modern furniture i love i love it so much so it's kind of like we have one style that i love 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 but then we also have the other style that i just kind of what do i do with that i don't really know um so you know i'm gonna put it there i don't really know why but that's where i'm putting it 
So yay, go go and get famous. I think for Discover University, I'm gonna put it next to get famous. I like the style of furniture. I like the windows because you can use them for a lot of different exteriors as well. Plus it both comes with kind of like traditional looking windows. You can use them for cottages as well. You can use them for a lot of things, but it also comes with the more contemporary looking windows that you can use for a lot of things as well. So generally very versatile windows and the interior pieces as well are great. The Ikea looking stuff especially. So I like that pack a lot. It's not, to me, amazing like Seasons is, but I like a lot of the stuff in the pack, so I'm gonna put it there. So Get Together is a difficult one, simply because it's so old that it's not really old. I don't remember when it came out. 2015 maybe? Something like that. But the fact that it's a bit of an older pack means that the texture on the items are not the greatest. I don't really use the more older looking furniture in that pack that much. Uh, simply because of the texture. I do use the newer looking one or the newer looking styles a little bit still But the texture on the older looking stuff is kind of not my favorite. However, I love Tudor houses I love the wallpapers that came with this pack and a certain column as well that I use in literally every single build So it's kind of difficult to rate this one simply because it's kind of it's on the older side Like it's a little bit. I don't want to call it outdated the graphics or the textures could just use a little bit of an update. Let's put it like that. So what do we do with it? Oh, I also love Windenburg. Okay, we're gonna put it up here simply because I freaking love Windenburg. Windenburg is in my top two worlds. Brindleton Bay and Windenburg are my favorite. I love both of them. It's probably a tie between the two. And for that reason, I'm actually gonna take Cats and Dogs and put it up here just because I think it's better than Get Together. And I love Brindleton Bay. It comes with so much cute furniture as well, especially if you're into building like cottages or just older looking cutesy kind of homes if you're into into the more grandma looking interior as well that bag is perfect so it does come with a lot of cats and dogs stuff you know obviously it's you know, it's a, it's a pets pack. I love that pack. It's definitely like on my top, like, yes, I love it. And then we have Island Living. <laughs> Island Living furniture is very situational. The windows are very situational to me as well. I just, I feel like I have to put it there. I do love Solani. I don't build in it a lot anymore, but I do love the place. It's beautiful. It's just the furniture is not really the most versatile. So that's where I'm putting it. And then we have Equal Life style, which is a newer pack. I am still trying to explore the different styles in it. I am still trying to mix it with other packs, see what we can make of it and stuff. So it's like it came out like three weeks ago or something. It's kind of difficult to rate a pack that's that new. You haven't really explored everything in it and stuff. But so far, I think it's definitely, it's, it's up here. Just because I do love the furniture. I feel like it's very versatile. The windows are Freaking amazing, like they're amazing. Can't wait to use them on a contemporary build at some point either. They're good for tiny houses, so if you're into those, definitely a, a good pack to add to that. And yeah, a lot of stuff to explore in that one as well. So we're done with the expansion packs now. I feel like I'm overly positive, maybe. <laughs> I just like things, okay. Okay, so next up we have the game packs. And there is a couple here that may surprise you a little bit, I think. Generally, I'd say I'm pretty positive when it comes to the game packs, actually. There's a few ones that I use continuously in everything, such as Parenthood. That is definitely on the top tier for me. I just, I love everything in it. It's such a homey, cozy kind of pack when it comes to the furniture. There's of course an issue with the mismatching swatches, but personally I don't mind too much, also because it comes with a beautiful set of counters that makes up for everything, so I love that pack. I use it in every single build. I've overused it for especially teen bedrooms and also children's bedrooms, so that's a really good one. It's a good one to mix with Discover University as well, so those two go really well together. Then we have Realm of Magic. That's another situational pack so I'll admit I don't really use a lot of the stuff in it for normal houses unless you're building something for someone who's maybe a witch <laughs> a spellcaster or I don't know they have maybe a bit of like an eclectic kind of interior it would go well with that but anything else it's difficult to use the items so maybe for like a grandma home as well I don't really know but I'm gonna put it there from a builder's perspective I'm gonna put it there I feel kind of bad 
about it, but eek, okay, moving on. <laughs> Let's go with vampires. Vampires is probably one. So the furniture, okay, it's probably one that I'm gonna have a few issues rating because there's some stuff in this pack that I love, but there's also some stuff in the pack that I'm just like, I don't really know what to do with it. I'm gonna put it here. I Why am I putting it there? I don't really know. Actually, it comes with the cracks that are really good. It comes with a very good brick as well. It's just the furniture is a little bit difficult to use sometimes. So unless you're building like a Victorian house or a gothic kind of house, not good with the style names when it comes to that or the architecture styles. Moving on, it's a difficult pack to use when it comes to the furniture, but it has a lot of great decor pieces that I use quite a lot. I don't really know. Difficult one. I feel weird about putting it where it is, but I'm gonna leave it. Then we have a pack like Spa Day. So I'm gonna put Spa Day here. Let me think, What what's in Spa Day? Hold on. Bamboo, we have yoga, we have... Does it come with counters? It does, doesn't it? Yeah, the red ones. Why have I not put anything in heck no? Uh, I just like, I just like things, okay. <laughs> Actually, we might move this one up to here just because I feel like something is telling me that I use it more than I think I do. It comes with a lot of like more contemporary looking items. I actually had to go check because I completely forgot what was in it. That's not a bad thing. But the reason that I forget what is in it is because it comes with a lot of stuff that I wouldn't necessarily use all at the same time. I mix it with a lot of other stuff such as base game, but also they have a nice set of windows and a pair of doors that are just made out of glass that I love. I use those a lot. And it just generally comes with a lot of very versatile items that are more on the contemporary side. So do keep that in mind. But it's a nice pack. It's a good looking pack. Does it work for gameplay? I have no freaking clue. And then we have Dine Out. So Dine Out is at the same spot as Spa Day, for me at least. It doesn't have a whole lot of furniture, but it does have a lot of like decor pieces that aren't just for restaurants or cafes or diners or whatever, whatever. They're useful for a lot of things. So it's a very versatile pack in that way, of course. You do have, if you like to build community lots, you do have that option with this pack as well. But for someone who doesn't, I find it very useful too. So yeah, that's where I'm gonna put it. And next up we have, oh my, I don't really know what pack to use, what pack to choose next. I like, Oh, this one is difficult. I think I'm gonna put it there. Granite Falls makes up for a lot of things when it comes to this pack. It does have some nice stuff, but the textures on it, it's an it's a get-together issue. They're kind of outdated a little bit. I find them difficult to use with a lot of the other stuff, but I love Granite Falls. I don't build in it quite a lot, but whenever I visit that world, like I go back and build something there, I'm just like in awe because it's such a beautiful world. But the furniture is just kind of... Okay, maybe we should put it down here just because the... Like, it's the same though, actually, because that one I don't really build in... You can't build in the world. Oh, we have Glimmerbrook. I forgot. Well, that's a bad sign. <laughs> At least I, I remember Granite Falls. What happened? How did I forget Glimmerbrook? Have I done that for my save file? Probably not. Whoops. <laughs> Gotta fix that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put Outdoor Retreat on It Is What It Is. Sorry, I still like you, Outdoor Tree, please. I still like you. Next up, we have Jungle Adventure. Now I feel weird about putting it next to Outdoor Retreat, but I don't really use Selva Dorada. I don't really build there a lot. I fixed it for my save file, mostly at least. I love the furniture though, especially the kitchen. The kitchen set I use so much because it's so versatile. It looks slightly like the appliances look slightly retro. So they're good for a lot of different interiors because you can use them in newer ones, but you can also use them in older looking interiors, you see? But I just don't use the world. So it's kind of like it has half but it's missing the other half. Worlds are also important when you're a builder. You want a different setting. You don't want to build the same thing over and over again, so you want a different setting for different kinds of builds, basically. So worlds are important. And I don't really use Silver Dorada. Gotta get myself a tea break. I love my muck. It's still broken. I don't know who broke it. Genuinely, I have no idea because it's not me. It's just not me. I know what you're thinking, but it's not me. So next up we have Strangerville. 
What comes with Strangerville? I like the windows. I like the windows quite a lot. I like a lot of the random decor pieces too. I don't really use Strangerville, like I don't build in that world. It's not really something that's very familiar to me. It's the same kind of deal with Silver Dorada. I'm not familiar with those kinds of climates. <laughs> I live in a flat country that's very green with a lot of trees and fields. This is what I'm used to. We don't really have the desert, so it's unfamiliar to me. The furniture itself, can I remember what it looks like? It looks kind of older looking, doesn't it? Yeah. I think I'm gonna put it next to... Yeah, because it has a lot of great decor pieces. And the furniture is also nice. The windows are really good. So that's where I'm gonna put it. Strangerville, it's not for me personally. I haven't really revisited it in a long time. <laughs> I should probably do that. But I like especially the decor pieces. So like wall decor and stuff like that and the windows. So that's where I'm gonna put it. It is what it is. So lastly, we have these stuff packs. Is it me or is it getting really hot in here? I forgot what Danish summer feels like, by the way. So I've been living in Scotland for the past, I wanna say three summers. And in Scotland, it gets, I'm talking Celsius now, Americans. In Scotland, it gets around like 18 degrees or something. There's like one week with a heat wave where it gets more than, it's like more than 20 degrees, but normally it's below. I'm not used to these kinds of temperatures. It's like 26 degrees here now. It's 28 degrees in my office. I'm melting. I bought myself a fan though, so we're gonna have that fixed. Anyways, enough talking about the temperature. Stop procrastinating. Do the rest of the ratings. I'm just gonna do one thing quickly. I don't... Yeah, no, that's just... Yeah. I don't remember the last time I've touched luxury party stuff. So, and I'm also gonna put spooky stuff there because I don't really use it, especially if you have seasons. Spooky stuff just kind of, I know they're supposed to, is it called supplement each other? <laughs> no, that's not what it's called. Well, you know the word anyways, hopefully, I don't know. They're supposed to like work together, but as someone who doesn't do Halloween, because Halloween is not really a big thing in Denmark. Never has been. I didn't grow up celebrating Halloween. I love Halloween for watching horror movies, but we don't decorate or anything like that. So it's not really like a celebratory thing for us. And this pack just kind of doesn't hit the right spot with me. So I want to put, I was going to say this one and put it here, but I actually kind of, the, if you like, if you like flowers in your landscaping, you're gonna like this one a lot because it comes with a lot of really beautiful flowers that are good for landscaping and they have a lot of different swatches as well. So there's a lot of different colors to choose from. But that's basically all it has. It has a couple of statues, there's a bench, there's a fountain as well. But if you don't really normally build stuff where you would need any of those items, this pack just kind of has plants and that's it. I do like it, I use it a lot, but I, I'm not gonna say that it's worth more or less than it is it's just flowers so that's where it is now this might be slightly controversial i don't hate my first pet stuff pack why does it have a square around it <laughs> come on you just had to stand out like that that sucks anyways i don't hate it actually i'm gonna put it down here i mainly like it because of the blinds I love the blinds. There's a couple of items that I use a lot, like uh, both the little chair with the strawberry, like the guinea pig chair or whatever it's called with the strawberry on the stomach. There's also a rug that I use quite a lot. A couple of paintings as well that are really cute. But then there's also like the actual furniture furniture that I don't really use because it's just way too colorful. But the blinds are really good. I love the blinds. I use the blinds in basically every single build. So the blinds make up for a lot. I will say that. I don't agree with the way that this pack was released. I feel like it's weird with the whole cats and dogs requirement thing. You do get stuff in it that you can use without having cats and dogs, but you don't get the full content without cats and dogs. And I feel weird about that, yes, but I do like the blinds. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Bowling stuff pack was one that I actually didn't like when it came out. Like, I'm not gonna lie, there was something about it that was just, I don't know if I was kind of influenced by everyone else just hating on it. Also because the bowling aspect of the pack is not really, I love bowling in real life. I love it. I'm a nerd, <laughs> it's fine. But in The Sims, it's just kind of, there's not much depth to it. We're not talking gameplay today, but that 
that was one of the reasons as well. However, the furniture in it is so good. It's mid-century modern, so it goes really well with Get Famous, and actually also a little bit with the new eco lifestyle, just like a little bit. So I use it quite a lot these days. I think I'm gonna put it there, because there's a couple of items that are bowling based that I don't really use, but the rest is good. So I'm gonna put it where it is right now. It is what it is. I feel like I'm gonna end up putting a lot of the stuff packs right here, not gonna lie. <laughs> okay, so tiny living. I love tiny living. I build a lot of tiny houses from someone who builds a lot of tiny houses. This is a good pack. I have heard people criticize it in a way that it doesn't come with enough items for tiny living as tiny living would be in real life. But when it comes to stuff packs, they also have a bit of a budget problem. There's a lot of budget limitations and stuff like that so with the budget that they had for a stuff pack this is a really good pack the murphy bed is a little bit difficult to use these days in my opinion it takes up a lot of space <laughs> but which is kind of ironic because it's from tiny living it's supposed to be for tiny living i don't know what murphy beds look like in real life i'm sure that it's the right size and everything but i find it difficult to use so that's the one thing. The rest though, I love. Also because it's mid-century modern. It goes with the uh, bowling stuff pack and get famous, by the way, if you were wondering. But since it's mid-century modern, I'm Scandinavian. I have to love it. So, plus just a little bonus info for you if you're curious or if you wanna know. The guru has actually mentioned on the Tiny Living live stream that the pack was inspired by Scandinavia and inspired by this concept that we have here in Denmark called Hygge. So that was something that also hit because I love Hugo. I just, I, it's, it's a lifestyle. Like it's, it's just, I have a book dedicated to it. Like I just, I love it. So it's important. <laughs> Anyways, that's where I'm going to put it. I love myself some tiny living. I'm going to put this here, I think, or am I? I've been using quite a lot of the clutter from Cool Kitchen lately, not going to lie, but it's not an amazing pack. It's not a bad pack either. It just kind of is what it is. So I'm going to put it there. Then we have toddler. Other than the light bulbs or the light ropes, I don't really use this pack a lot, I don't think. I might be wrong about that. But it comes with a lot of like play stuff for toddlers. It comes with some big rugs as well. And there's the tent looking thing. I don't know what that's called. Don't really use those items. I mainly use the light robes, but it's not on the same level as luxury party stuff packs. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put it there. Yeah. Vintage Glamour again has a few items that I use, but it's not my personal style. Like I just, I don't know. There's just some of the stuff that I don't ever use. So I would say it's pretty much on the same level as the rest that I've put here. It's like half, half. Fitness stuff pack has kind of grown on me lately. I don't know what it is. I remember when it came out, a lot of people were not too happy about it, actually. It kind of got a lot of fleck as far as I remember. I don't really know why. I don't remember why. But in my opinion, when it came out, I was actually positively surprised because a lot of the furniture in it is actually quite nice. It's a little situational. So that's where I'm putting it or that's why I'm putting it there. But I do like the furniture in it. Then we have a pack like Moschino. This might surprise you. This might surprise you. I actually really like Moschino stuff pack. I know that the trailer was horrific. <laughs> <laughs> the trailer was terrible. I know that the whole like clothing line that Moschino did themselves weren't well received by the Sims community. As someone who's been into fashion since I was a kid, the prices are not a surprise to me. When it comes to the whole design process and high fashion brands, a lot of time goes into thinking everything through with every single piece that they do. The quality, so the materials are better and also the way that the clothing is made. So that's why the pricing is a little bit higher. Is it insane? Yes, it's definitely insane and not for everyone. Definitely not, but I kind of get it. So I'm slightly biased in that way. I've been a fashion enthusiast. <laughs> Let's put it like that for over half of my life, for two thirds of my life, or maybe like three fourths, three, three quarters of my life, whatever. So I just, I kind of get it. But as for the stuff in the pack, it's actually really nice. The windows are beautiful. I like the wall dividers. I like the clothing rack. I like the decor pieces. I like the furniture. It's actually a really like through and through a good pack. So moving on to what do we have? Kids room stuff pack. I'm not sure if I should put it here put it up here. My problem with kids room stuff pack is that a lot of the swatches of the items are, or not necessarily a lot of the swatches, but there are some of the swatches that are a little bit 
too much and it's basically just for kids rooms like it's not the most versatile stuff in my opinion because it looks a little bit chunky or no that's not as clunky <laughs> I don't know. it looks a little i don't want to say immature but i i like a better word so that's the word i'm choosing and therefore i just kind of i don't know i'm gonna put it there but it's a good pack if you're really interested or lacking stuff for kids rooms that's a good pack then we have a pack like laundry day which i'm putting up here because i love everything about it there is not one single bad piece of furniture or decor or anything in that pack it's amazing it deserves its top tier spot i love it i hate doing furniture no that's not what it's called <laughs> i hate doing laundry but everything else i love the laundry machines though <laughs> so from a builder's perspective it's a really good pack so yeah i i love it i love laundry day i think you guys know as well if you've watched my videos i praise it quite a lot so now these two backyard stuff pack and perfect patio i have a tendency to kind of mix the two together which is a problem when you're trying to rate packs so what comes in which pack actually i think this one should be up here and this one should be here this one is the one that comes with a slide i think and this one comes with a hot tub we now also have a hot tub with a base game which don't get me started on that but there's a really nice plant for example in that pack if i recall correctly and also a lounge set that you can use for terraces or backyards or i don't know the patio <laughs> it's really nice and very versatile so i like that one or those pieces and i think this is the pack that comes with the dining table with the patterns on it that ha has matching chairs as well it also has a couple of outdoors decor pieces that are really cute but it's just kind of like it's it, it is what it is it's the best way to explain it and then i have this one which i've been pushing <laughs> no not pushing but like trying to avoid because i like the pack but it's very situational as well but i do like it i think i'm gonna put it up here i'm gonna have a very hard time explaining exactly why i put it up there but i just really like the pack it has a few items that are really good for like kids rooms for example or toddler rooms or if you're building something for Again, more of like someone who has a little bit more of like an eclectic kind of interior or I don't know, something bohemian. It's a pack that goes really well with city living in that way. It also goes really well with island living as far as I remember. It's just still kind of situational if you look at the pack as a whole, but if you split it apart, you can use a couple of pieces in every single interior that you do. So it's a very nice pack in that way. But as a whole, like if, you, if you're just gonna sit down and do one build with movie hangout stuff pack, I would have issues with that. It would turn very patterned. <laughs> Something that I may be a little bit afraid of, but I just, I don't know. I'm having a hard time defending my choice, but I like that pack, so I'm gonna leave it at that. And that is the end result. Am I overly positive when it comes to a lot of the packs? Probably, but I just, I like things. I like to see the positive in things. And also I just like to do a lot of different interiors and build a lot of different houses. Not so much lately maybe because Eco Lifestyle just came out, but generally I like to explore different kinds of interiors. So I just, I use a lot of them. I get a lot of use out of my, my packs, all my packs basically. So there you have it. I hope it was maybe helpful to some of you. I hope that I didn't speak for too long so this video doesn't turn out to be too long because that would seriously suck. But yeah, I hope it was uh, maybe helpful to some of you. I'm gonna turn on my fan now because this room is awful. It's like a sauna and I don't appreciate it. Speaking of saunas, Spa Day comes with a sauna so if you're curious if you want one that it's in there. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. Take what you will from this video. Again, it's just my personal opinion, my personal preference. And yes, that may be overly positive, but that's just, it is what it is. Let me know if you want to see more videos like this. It was actually a lot of fun to record. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.